hi angels welcome back to another resin video so this is part two of making some resin rings the first video i got the most from amazon i really didn't like them they were too tiny and i couldn't get it out like it was just a hot mess so i decided to hop onto etsy's and order a ton of ring molds so that's what we're gonna try it again so that's why i said this is part two so the molds are from etsy's i got it from one seller i'll leave the link in the description box down below also i got these dry flowers from amazon as well glitter is glitter from amazon and gold flakes from amazon and uh, i think that's all i use i'm not sure if there's anything else that pops up i'll let you guys know that's her hiccup okay so first thing first i'm starting to place down all of the flowers all of the glitter like whatever i want to be putting down in there i can't remember what exactly i i was putting in the most but yeah so this is the first step and not in there some flowers and each one of them is gonna be different different flowers different stuff in there so yeah and also all <laughs> the ring size for these is a size eight so all of them i think i got a size eight because they fit perfectly so that's my ring size it does ask you obviously on the website like what size you want and i just selected eight and it worked out perfectly dun, 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 dun. i'm making sure that i'm choosing different flowers and all of that good stuff Oh, that one looks so cute. By the way, the glitter that's on my hand is not really glitter. It's a pigment, resin pigment that opened up and it just exploded all over the place. So it got on my hands, my shirt, and my carpet. So that's why my hand is shining. I don't know why I didn't wash it off because it could have definitely got into the mold. But it really doesn't matter like that. It's fine. But yeah. Dun, 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 dun. And I went to got more flowers. That little tiny ring mold that I just showed you guys. I got that as a free gift. Because I order a ton of, a ton of bangles bracelet molds from Etsy. So I decided why not just add it in there since I wasn't really using it. I only used it like two times. That was it. But I wanted to use it again, so I just add it on in there. Adding on flowers. More flowers and more flowers. So I run and get my scissors so I can cut it in half to place it in the mold. I decided since this part was already crumbled up, why not just crush it up so I can add it on in there because there was a ton of space still left in the mold and I wanted to cover it up as much as possible. But I also didn't want to add like a ton of flowers in there because the more stuff you add in there, the more chance of bubbles. And obviously, it would be very difficult to get the bub all of the bubbles out. So I just did it that way. I still think it turned out pretty good. So now I'm trying to pick out the glitters that I want. I actually end up not using up the glitters. I've had these butterfly glitters for about a year now. And I really don't use them. Like I think I used it once and that was it. And I have a ton of it. So... Maybe in the next video I would use it. I also got that glitter that says thank you on it free with my order. 
So I mix up some gold flakes, some white, and then some confetti glitter. It's to the side. You guys can't see it, but I'm going to be using it. I should have used it in the pink mold, but I, I don't know what I was thinking. So adding on some gold and all of them. Go, go, go. Then turn up for the white that I mixed up, just for a little pop of color. Not all of them, but some of them. Then I just add some resin on top. And this is the confetti glitter that I told you guys about. so in that mold i'm just adding on another confetti glitter the confetti is very chunky i should have cut it up but i don't know what i was thinking then after that i just add on in there some white and that was it to get rid of the bubbles because obviously there's stuff inside of the mold so there's bubbles that strap i just use my lighter to get it out and that stick that I'm using right there, I also use it to push down the flowers some more and then get the bubbles to rise up. And then just pop it with the lighter. You can do it whichever way you choose. And that's that. I'm going to leave it to dry for 24 hours. And then you guys are going to see how they all turned out. So it's been 24 hours. It's time now to pop it out of the mold. They're very soft and very squishy. You, you can basically squish it in your hands so you're gonna need to after you took it after you take it out the mold just let it sit and dry for like a few more hours also there's a ton of resin that ran over so after taking it out, out of the mold i'm just ripping it off with my hands you can use your exacto knife to go around the edges after it's fully dried but you can easily just peel it off so that's why i'm just doing it that way any part that I miss, I can just use the X-Acto knife to go over it. And by the way, none of these are difficult to get out of the mold. They were super easy, no problem. Look at how gorgeous it is. This one, not my favorite. I'm going to try it again. Add more flowers or maybe some pigments. And this is how the molds look. Wow, so cute. One of the flowers I placed in there, the back to the front, but it still looks good. It's fine. That was the only mistake on that one, but it still turned out so cute. And this is the free mold that I got with my order from the bracelets. That's how it looks cute. Love it, love it, love it. And the heart. I totally forgot that I ordered a heart. But it's so cute. I keep on saying cute. But really so cute. Popping off all of the extra resin I ran over. I'm going to save all of these little scrap pieces and add it in a mold. Probably one of the bracelet molds that I have or anything else that I have laying around. Or maybe I can use it to make another ring. Who knows? This is the one that I add on and then the red flowers in. So cute. Clean it up. Whatever pieces I can't get off with my hands, I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife later on to just clean it up. Gorgeous. 
They look so cute. I think this is the last one. Or maybe I have more. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, this is the last one, and this one is my favorite because I love pink and I love the white and I love the gold flakes and I love how big and chunky it is. It is so cute. Just, just look at it. Look at it. It's so gorgeous. Love it. Oh, absolutely amazing. Definitely should have add more flowers in there, but yeah. So I'm just going to show you guys how all of them look on. so cute i also love that one and i love the heart so all the, these three right here is my favorite dun, 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 dun. so i still need to set these out for a few more hours so it can fully harden but this is how they all look so cute <laughs> okay i'm done saying cute but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you watch it all the way through. I know that it's long. I usually like to keep my videos like under 10 minutes, but I couldn't shorten this one anymore. And it is. I'm pretty sure I could have, but I feel like if everything was important, I just kept it in the video. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Look at how gorgeous they are. Wow, 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 wow. They're gonna look so good in the sunlight. Oh, just love it. Also, I got all of these on sale. I think it was 4th of July sale. Not sure, but yes. Bye.